Hello everyone, this is the last of chapter 4 in Ephesians. We're doing a series on sons and daughters of God, living, free, transformed, full of the Holy Spirit. And today, it's sort of a summary of a whole lot of uh, new things, new attitude, new heart. And it says, keep in step with the Holy Spirit. Keep in step, keep keep walking the same pace and the same way. Let me read it to you, verse 30. Also, do not grieve the Holy Spirit in whom you have been sealed for the day of redemption. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, brawling, slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as Christ God forgave you. Wow. It doesn't actually say keep in step there, but it does say to keep with the Holy Spirit. Don't grieve him. The Holy Spirit lives in us. He is God's presence on the earth. He is God's heart in in our hearts. He is He is God's anointing and love and power and joy overflowing and being in our life. And it says, don't grieve him. Now, this word grieve means to make sad. Now, I don't think that we're going to do things and God starts crying and he's all sad. He, but I do believe it's saying, hey, you don't want to do that. He's We're in a relationship with God. You don't want to make God, uh, you know, grieve. What other words is here? Be sad. And then it goes on a whole, a whole bunch of things about anger and malice. Don't, don't do that. Don't, you don't want to do that. It reminds me of being like a father with my boys and they get angry, come home and say, hey, we, we, don't, do, we don't want to do that. And they say, well, what do we do? And I say, well, we, we do this. We, we laugh and we forgive. And then afterwards we go and play, play PlayStation together, have our ice cream together because your behavior was so good and you, you reacted so well. And we want to give you a reward for good behavior. And I just really feel as we finish here in this chapter, it's talking about um, the, the relationships are linked with God and with people. And so you know what the verse here about don't be angry and that it's like almost like saying the same thing over and over bitterness rage anger brawling slander malice it all, it almost sounds like don't be angry 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 and i've sort of re- got to get it in my heart that I, I can't maintain anger so i must forgive and i must release as it said earlier uh, in the scriptures if you want to go back a few a few weeks it does talk about that, um, you know. Don't don't let the devil have a foothold in your life by by being angry. And hey, we release. So, but this is positive because it's saying no, no, it's not like that. But it's kind, compassionate, forgiving, just what God did for us. And I believe that we do this supernaturally as we get closer to God. We get closer to His nature as we have more of the Holy Spirit. And I was just taught a simple little thing uh, years and years ago when I was a baby Christian about how to win in this area. There's a story of a man with two dogs, a white dog and a black dog, and unfortunately he was they were involved with dog fights. I know that's not good, but it's just a story, all right? And every time he would pit his two dogs against each other, he always knew which one would win each time. 100% correct, accurate. And finally someone was able to watch, maybe through binoculars, how he knew which dog would win, and he could see that the the dog that won was the dog that he fed. And so it is. Which one are we going to feed? Anger, bitterness, or are we going to feed kindness, forgiveness, compassion? Just a story, but I want to feed the Holy Spirit power in my life. Don't you? Let me pray. Holy Spirit, teach us to be in step with you, to love you, and, and to, to really change this heart of anger to a heart of love and compassion. I pray for a supernatural release, overcoming past hurts, and overcoming things that fill us, fill us with joy and love and peace, Lord, that we could love our other people around us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for joining us today. And if you enjoyed today's episode with Pastor Rod, why don't you subscribe on whatever platform you are listening to this, and we'll see you next time.